Y'all, the sun is out. I'm so happy. So, it's the first day since it stopped raining. It is October 2nd. Let me make sure. Yeah, October 2nd. Oh my gosh. I have not been in my garden in days. Days. Wow. I'm taking stock of how things look. The ground is not soaking wet anymore. Um, those bugs have gone to town on my plants. I'm going to get out here and spray now that it's not going to rain for a while. But look at this. Oh, they even pooped on it. How insulting. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to get out here and spray. My collard greens are still looking delicious, but I absolutely have to spray everything. They just they just did a number, y'all. Oh, let me look at my um, rutabaga. <laughs> look at my rutabaga kind of coming to life. Look at this weed. <laughs> Dandelion, rather. And I just saw, see that guy? They over here enjoying living their best lives. Definitely have to get in here and spray. I'll do that this weekend. I don't know if I'm gonna show y'all or not. I might come out here and do it tomorrow because it's only Wednesday and I wanna get it done as soon as possible. We'll see if I show y'all. But look, the kale is doing good. Ooh, that's collard. And I think this is collard. <laughs> anyway, this whole area is kale, cauliflower, collards, and um, broccoli. Beans are still looking good, but look at what happened to these. They're looking moldy. There was so much rain. It could be worse though. It could be way worse. I am happy to be able to be back out here. And I think I'm gonna, well, I'm about to go to the gym, but I think I'm going to get out here tomorrow and take care of these bugs before it gets out of hand. Thank you, Lord, for sunshine. Oh, y'all see that? Oh, oh. <laughs> Potatoes are literally everywhere. Potato in the cabbage, potato in the cabbage, potato in the cabbage, potato in the cabbage. Potato, 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 potato. I think there's one in the path too. Yep, potato. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking funny. And look at this whole line here. I totally just missed a bunch of potatoes, y'all. Like what on earth? There's one right there. Over here in my collard greens. There's one I missed right here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, look at my leaves. All right, we, oh, oh, snap. Oh, this is war. I don't think that's the bug that's doing it, but, oh, we gonna have to, we gonna have to deal with them, y'all. So I have some very sad news. Kevin and Callie have not been here in days, like over a week. My neighbors came by last weekend and told us that they saw Callie and she had been hit by a car. I am really sad about that. I actually was quite down this week. I talked to my therapist about it. Um, yeah, Kevin and Callie, they were my favorites. Kevin hadn't been around for a number of days prior to that, and, and he hasn't been. He hasn't been since then either. So I'm concerned. I'd like to hope that maybe somebody took him and gave him a good home, but I'm concerned that he got injured as well. Um, so my two favorite outdoor kitties, the two I was literally planning to take with me whenever I ultimately moved, are gone. At least I believe they're gone. RIP Kevin and Callie. Um, there are still kittens. The ki black and white kittens are growing up. They are chilling in my neighbor's yard right now. I'm looking at them hanging out on her lawn furniture, her yard furniture. 
and the grays are still here Choco is still here Choco came and talked to me actually a few days ago um, before Callie got hit and I think maybe he was telling me that something was wrong with Kevin because Choco doesn't usually talk to me but he was meowing at me quite a bit so yeah I'm quite sad I love cats I love them and I can't have one inside, but these outdoor cats have given me a lot of joy. So I wanted to let y'all know, cause I know we've been sharing them with you and I'll continue to share the others with you, but I wanted you to know what happened with Kevin and Callie. Well, everything is looking really good. I did pick some beans just now. I'll show them to you. They are like mildewy on the outside, which doesn't look fantastic, but I've had some like this before and the beans inside are okay. So when I show these, they should be okay. But I wanna show y'all all the beans on the vines. Oh, and I'll tell you, they were mildewy because mildewy of all that rain. I didn't get them off the vine fast enough, but these, are getting close to ready and so I'm actually gonna pick a lot of them green because um, I enjoy them green <laughs> oops sorry about that y'all the legs of my stand got caught um, Eric is about to start the lawnmower but like these under here but I'll go ahead and get those today oh no I didn't mean to do all that oops <laughs> I'll get this one but like a lot of these are getting ready like they're really close and I will pick them green I had used to think that you had to pick them when they were dry and my daddy was like no girl you could pick them before that get you some nice fresh beans so I am gonna get some fresh ones oh here's this thing again I'm sorry y'all I'm gonna do better I promise but I'm gonna get some um, green ones oh like a bean just fell out of one of those green ones and look, right, so that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna get a few more green ones and then just combine them with these other ones and I'll be able to eat those, but I will be picking them sooner to get a couple of fresh batches. And then I think after that, I'll let the rest dry toward the end i'll have a, a jar or so of beans dried beans going into the winter that's the plan right now we'll see how it all plays out I don't know if y'all are like us, but if you are, and you were anywhere near the path of that hurricane, your grass is like 20 feet tall. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but it's tall. 
So Eric is mowing right now for the first time since like several weeks before the hurricane. And so we're gonna dump that grass on our compost pile. And I'm really excited about the trees, which here in Virginia, they haven't started, well, they are starting to fall, but they're still um, holding on pretty, pretty tightly. So we are going to gather those leaves and get some good compost out of those too. And I'm excited about that. They have not come down yet. Let me show y'all, if you'll remember, a few weeks ago I showed you when I cut back all that oregano. Look at that patch on the ground. All of that on the ground is oregano <laughs> from these oregano bushes that have come out. I don't know what, the, I do know what that is, that's dandelion. But like this is all like ground cover of oregano. Mmm, that smells good. Over here, the thyme hasn't done it so much because I actually left the thyme on long branches. I'm afraid if I, I just need to cut that back. I'm afraid if I cut it back too much, um, it might not come back, but it will. But we still got all this oregano. Huh, lavender, sage, rosemary. Our herbs are urban, y'all. These girls are looking better now too. Josh left the wheelbarrow and bags out here, but they have some new pine pellets, which is so good because their pine pellets that they had were done. They were just soggy and had become a whole <laughs> like lake. Hey girls, how you doing? I don't have anything for you. Eric just refreshed their water. They are, um, so I'll show you what the pine pellets are. They're, they're gonna think I'm coming to get them something, but ow! These are the pine pellets. So this is, pine that has been compressed into little pellets and what's great about it is that it breaks down when it gets wet but it stays like it absorbs odors really well and it it stays pretty well compacted um compacted isn't the right word it's nice and dense but it doesn't like pack down like mud i mean unless it's, there's torrential rainfall like there was during the hurricane that just blew in from the sides but it's really good and it keeps the stink down. Oh, you really need that when you have chicken. I did go and get some because they were in a dangerous situation. Like their bedding was gross and we needed to fix it up so that they had sanitary conditions again. We didn't want them to get bumble foot, which is like an infection of the foot and then a big kind of lumpy knob under their foot that develops from being in soggy and nasty ground. We didn't want that to happen to them. Hey, y'all. Hey, you're so pretty. I like your blue eggs you've been giving me. Hey, honey. Hey. You've been making pinky brown ones. Yeah. Hi. Hi, girls. I have no snacks. I have no snacks. Mm -hmm. Let me see if there's anything in the nesting box. I know there's nobody in here because everybody's out there. I counted them. Two eggs, yay. A blue and a brown. Woohoo! You see how these, this blue one is so small. This is from one of the new girls. This brown one, I would guess, is from um, one of the Rhode Island Reds. Or it could be from one of our older black ones. <laughs> Look at the kiwi. <laughs> Um, but yeah, two eggs. I'm going to go ahead and take those inside the house. Well, that's it for me, y'all. I am so glad to be back out in my garden. I have not been out here in days and days. In fact, I started getting a little down. That storm was a lot. Um, and we did not, thank God, we didn't get hit nowhere nearly as bad as other people did. Um, and just the rain, excuse me, the rain and overcast days and water all over the place in the garden was enough to discourage me from coming out here. I can't imagine and I'm praying for and trying to get supplies to places and people that are in need and have lost everything. 
it's a rough season. It's a rough season right now. Thank you guys for being here with us, for watching, for being a part of our family and our community. Remember to thumbs up my videos. Take a look at some of my talky videos if you haven't lately. I've been talking about prepping, saving, storing up things for future events. Um, this hurricane is a great example of having the things you need so that when power is out, or you don't have water, that you have supplies. Of course, in situations where um, people's homes were washed away, God forbid, those situations, you, you wouldn't have the things that you had saved up. But for people who were not in those situations about lost electricity or power or water, um, or were not able to get to stores, um, saving up, you can see how that would have been really helpful. So I hope that people were able to take that advice. I hope that people who have watched my other videos have been able to be motivated to store up, to stock up for unexpected events and seasons. And if you haven't looked, please take a look. I have a whole playlist of talkie videos, a whole playlist on how to do lots of different things like how to, how to can foods, how to start seeds, but also what things you need to stock up on in case of emergencies and things like that. So please take a look at those as well. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you being part of my YouTube family. Thank you. Share my videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Love you guys. Bye-bye.